pretty good, little Erica. Good! Guess what we're making today? I have no idea. We're gonna make coleslaw with red cabbage and walnuts and apples. Wow. Doesn't that sound delicious? Sounds great. Are you ready to go? Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna put on my protective eyewear because I want to be a superhero when I make my cabbage salad. Ha <laughs> ha! Looking I'm good. I'm Captain Erica! Looking good. With a day! Don't I look cool? You look great. And I'm gonna put on your protective hat wear. I get a hat too. That's right, you look beautiful in this hat. Careful. You gotta wear it just like you're a professional. Hat! I feel like a chef. You look like a chef, little Mark. Thank yeah. You. Let's go. Okay, guess what goes into coleslaw? Coal. No, not quite. Actually, it's red cabbage. Red cabbage. Looks a little purple to me. You're totally right. You know what makes it so beautiful and purple? No. Antioxidant. Antioxidant. Yeah, exactly. Antioxidant. Oxygen. No, oxygen. That's it. Let's get going. Okay, you're totally right. Oh, I wanted to tell you what oxygens are good for. What are they good for? They get rid of the free radicals all over the world so you don't have cancer or die. Awesome. That's right. It's so good for you and you'll live forever. Also, we have walnuts, which are also really good for you. It got lots of protein. It looks kind of like a little brain. Almost the size of your brain, about the right Thanks. size, don't mm -hmm. you think, little Mark? Can I try one? Oh, absolutely. Here, taste it. Mm. I feel smarter already. You're so smart already. A little You're not dry, so stupid. Though. That's right, it is dry. Okay, and also we have our apples. We have different kinds of apples. Here's a Fuji apple. Fuji? Yeah, very good. Do you know how to spell Fuji? No. Okay, and then we have our pink chick apple, otherwise known as red lady. No, no, pink lady. Pink That's lady. right, pink, pink lady. lady. Hi, I'm a pink lady, I'm not red. And then we have Grandma Smith apple, and it's green a little more tart. If you want to try this in your, in your coleslaw, it makes it a little more tart and yummy in that way. Let me smell the green one. You want to smell it? Yeah. Mm. What do you smell? Apple. Doesn't smell like fart, does it? No. No, that's really good. Do you want to put it all together now, right? Let's it's go. a beautiful concoction of deliciousness. So I'm going to take my red cabbage and I'm going to cut it in half. This is the hard part because it's big. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I got my Careful. hair. Careful there. Okay, thank you, Mark. You're so nice to me and you watch out. Ow. Oh, I just made a big loud sound. I cut it in half. Woo! You got to use your muscles to cut this stuff in half. Okay, we got to cut it in half. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a tree. Beautiful. Isn't it? And then I'm going to cut it in half again so it's in a quarter. Okay, and put that aside here. And then I take the core out. Mm -hmm. See, take this little white part out. Right. Here. You can't eat that, right? You can, but it's not as delicious and it doesn't make your coleslaw as yummy pants. Right. Okay, now I have my quarter, and I'm going to cut it so it looks like coleslaw, so I'm going to cut that in half again, just like that. you got to watch out, but you got to use right. a sharp knife, okay? And then I cut it into thin slices like that. Looks like hair. It kind of does look like hair. You're totally yeah. right, mm -hmm. little Mark. You know what's so amazing about red cabbage? No. It's got tons of antioxidants and vitamin C. Right. And it kind of gets rid of the free radicals of the world. Really? Do you know what free radicals are? No, not really. It's like the pollutants right. in the air mm -hmm. from our cars. Right. And if you're a smoker, cigarette smoke, it helps get rid of that out of your body. Right. And also alcohol. If you drink a lot of alcohol, it gets mm -hmm. all the toxins in your body. The antioxidants help that and the vitamin C too. You know what else? No. It's got tons of vitamin C, and vitamin C is the best thing to take when you're stressed the fuck out, when life takes over right. and you're all life shitty feeling. It's true. Yeah, yeah, and this world nowadays is so stressful mm -hmm. to be out there in the whole world, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put the cabbage in the bowl over here. Now we're done, right? Not quite, little Mark, not quite. Because it looks like coleslaw. It yeah. so looks like coleslaw. You're so right about that. But we have all these other beautiful, delicious ingredients to put in there. Right. Okay. And next, we're going to cut up our apples. I'm going to pick the pink lady because it has a little pink more lady. sweetness. Good. It's delicious. And you know why I use a sweet apple instead of carrots? No. 
because cabbage is kind of tart tasting right. and the apple kind right. of balances it out right. it gives it a nice little punch good idea i know some people use carrots and that's the more common thing you use carrots really yeah because that's sweet too but it's kind of boring i think we've done that before we've seen that before so now we're doing the apple way right so i cut the apple in half and then i didn't cut it in quite in half but i cut it right around the top here so i missed mm -hmm. the middle of it right. and i did the same on the other side and then i cut off the ends here so i have the core right here see that yeah that's the core this is where all the seeds are you can't eat that though right no well you can if you want to but it's not as yummy right okay and now we're gonna cut up our apples so i Yum. take that half here right. and i cut that in half and then you do that in the thin slices you make me nervous with that knife i know it's Scary, isn't it, little Mark? Yep. Oh, apples are so good for you too. You should eat an apple a day. It keeps the keeps the doctor away, right? You're totally right. right. Can you sing a song about that? No. Uh, I can. Is an apple a day to mm. the doctor? That's pretty. Yeah, that's mm. good. Thank you. Okay, I cut up my apple and I put that in the bowl. In the bowl. In the bowl. One, two. And I'm gonna cut up this other apple half here. And once again, cut it in half. Right. Easy. It's a lot of and apple. Lots of apple. You know why it's so yummy delicious. Mm, right. Oh, I love it. The apple. It make a taste of flavor so nummy, nummy in my tummy. Yummy. Boop right. doo. I'm keeping the the peel on because the peel has tons of yummy vitamins in the there peel too. Peel too, huh? Right. Yeah. And in coleslaw, there's lots of tough textures anyway, so mm -hmm. it's not really getting in the way of our yumminess. So I put that in our bowl. Now we're done. Not quite. I know you're so excited to taste this, aren't you, little Mark? I am. Patience. Patience, okay. little right. Mark. I win. Okay, and now we cut up our apples. I'm going to take the board away. Careful. Thanks, little Mark. You're such a nice helper in the kitchen. It's so nice to have you here. Okay, here we have our apples and our cabbage, and we're going to add our flavoring. Flavorings? Like what? Well, first of all, I'm going to put in some sea salt. Nice. I put in the fleur de sel salt. And this Ooh is la la, the, that sounds French. It is so far say bonjour, merci beaucoup. <laughs> and this salt is kind of like the fancy salt that makes flavors so good, and you kind of taste the salt crystals, and it's so much more yummy than just regular table salt. Right. But you don't want to put too much because you don't want to take away from the sweetness of the apple. You know what right, I mean? Right. Okay. And then some cracked pepper. What is that thing? This is the pepper mill. See the little pepper corns oh, yeah. in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what pepper looks like. And right. then you crack them up. And it's so much better when you do it fresh right in your dish. Right. Do you know why? No. Because it releases the oils out of the peppercorns and makes it so much more delicious. And I can even smell it now. Those pepper shakers that they put on people's tables is disgusting. Right, right. You might as well not even use pepper, you know what I mean? What if you don't have a mill like that? Well, you should invest in it. If anything else, invest in a good pepper, pepper mill. mill. I Check. highly recommend it. it, little Mark. Good. Okay. And then... We put some extra virgin olive oil in there. Virgin? Yeah, she never had sex before. Did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. Oh. oh. What's well, virgin imply with the olive oil? Okay, well, with extra virgin olive oil, if what they do with the olives is they take them out, and then they smoosh them up, and right. then they right. press the oil they out press. of there. Good. And then the first pressing is the extra version Bird, got has, it good yeah and has most of the flavoring and, mm -hmm. and all the antioxidants in this nice okay so we just put the whole like, bottle the whole bottle no silly you don't want to put too much you want to just feel the flavor just a barely right. coating everything right. so it's about two tablespoons i'm not really going to measure because i'm a professional yeah okay put that in there and then some regular white vinegar. Looks good. Yeah, and I'm using the regular white vinegar because it doesn't have too much flavor, just a little tang. Right. And because other vinegars have flavor and they take away from right. the flavor of what you're cooking. Okay. Okay. Just put Easy. about 
two tablespoons of right. that in there. You don't want it. Some coleslaws, they put so much vinegar in it, it takes away all the right. flavors. Right. All right. Okay. You put that in there. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to cut up the water. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to bring the board right well, back. Okay. okay. I'll be here. I'll be right back, little Mark. All right. Okay. Okay. I forgot to cut up the walnuts. The walnuts right. are the best part. Actually, it's all best part. Okay. All right. So you can use either a knife Again or... Again with the knife. Yeah, I know. I like to cut things. Right. Or you can do the super magical superhero kung fu and squeeze the nut with your wow. fingers like that. Wow. They're strong. Good. You ever see the drunken master with no. Jackie Chan? Drunken no. master where he crushes the walnuts to keep his fingers no. strong? That's what I'm doing. Nice. Oh, use the knife. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. People are waiting, right? right. Okay, so I chop the walnuts like this. I put the tip of the knife down. Right. And I chop like this. Do, 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 right. do, do. I don't chop it too much because you still want Why not? good chunks in it. Well, I just drop one oh, on the floor. That... Okay. All right. I'm making a mess. I'm going to gather everyone together. Okay. Some nice thick chunks in there. See right, that? Right. Doesn't that look good? Looks great. And then I put that in there. Now we're done. Almost. Right. Almost. Okay, now I'm going to move the board out of the way again. Uh, again. Ooh, silly me. And we just toss it together. Toss in the salad. I like to toss my salad. Toss Big the old salad. Toss. Toss, 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 toss the salad. Toss, 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 toss my salad. Toss, toss, toss. Looks good. Yeah, it does, isn't it? And that's it, little Mark. That's how you make coleslaw. Awesome. And now you're not so stupid. And you're not stupid either because you can make a delicious, easy coleslaw that's good for you. Easy one, two, bam, bam. All right. All right, high five. High, high five. Thanks for coming, little Mark. Thanks for having later. me. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, you can cook stupid. You can cook stupid. You can cook stupid today. Oh, you can cook stupid. Oh, you can cook stupid. Oh, you can cook stupid today. Hey.